So today we're going to be talking about how to calculate the pH of a weak acid. And the first thing you're going to do is write the dissociation equation for the acid. Our acid in this case is acetic acid. So you write acetic acid and show how it breaks apart. Since it's a weak acid, we're going to have a double-headed arrow because the reaction can go forwards and reverse until it reaches equilibrium. So now that I've written my dissociation equation, I'm going to write the equilibrium expression. Since I have an acid, my Ka, or my equilibrium constant, is equal to my products. Make sure you put the charges on your ions. So the concentrations of my products over the concentration of my reactants. And since all the coefficients are 1, those are all to the power of 1, which will be the same for all of our problems. Next, you're going to set up an ICE table. ICE stands for Initial Change in Equilibrium. So initially, I have 1.5 molarity of acetic acid. I don't have any hydrogen or acetate ion. Since my reactant should be breaking apart, I'm going to be losing some amount, while my product should be going up by some amount. So your reactant should always be going down, and your products should always be going up. And because it's 1 to 1 to 1 ratio, all of those amounts should be the same number. That's why they're all x. And for equilibrium, I sum it all up, 1.5 minus x, x, and x. I'm now going to plug these equilibrium values into the equilibrium expression. They gave me the Ka, so I plug that in. Now I'm going to plug in my x times x, which is x squared, over 1.5 minus x. Because this is a weak acid, it breaks up very little. So my Ka is very small. Remember, the smaller my Ka the, means the less it breaks apart. Since this acid isn't breaking apart very much, my x is going to be a very small number, so I can go ahead and ignore the minus x. Otherwise, we'd have to solve it using the quadratic equation. So multiplying by 1.5 and square rooting it, I get my x to be 0 0.0052, which is the concentration of H. Now that I have my concentration of H, I can find my pH using the pH equation. So pH is equal to the negative log of 0 0.0052, which is 2.28. So we found our concentration of H and then use the concentration of H to find the pH. Let's go ahead and do one more together. So it's an acetic acid solution again. So my dissociation equation should be the same. We're writing my equilibrium expression. Remember products over reactants. And now setting up my ice table. Now that I have my equilibrium line, I can plug it into my Ka expression. Since it's acetic acid, I have the same Ka as previously because the Ka does not change for an acid. I can still ignore minus x and now solve for x. So multiply by 0.5 and square root and I get my concentration of H to be 0.003.
So then my pH I can find to be 2.52. Go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own, restarting when you have your answer. So on this one we have HF this time, or hydrofluoric acid, so it breaks apart into hydrogen and fluorine ions. Setting up our equilibrium expression. We have a one molar solution, so we can fill in our ice table, minus x, because our reactants are decreasing, plus x, because our products are increasing. Plug it into our Ka expression. Notice we have a different Ka because we have a different acid. We can still ignore the minus x because it's still a weak acid. Solving for X or my concentration of H, I get 0.0268 molarity. Since I know my concentration of H, I can find my pH. Solving for pH, I get 1.57. Go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own, restarting when you get your answer. So we're going to start off the same way. We have our hypochlorous acid. We need to write our dissociation equation. And set up our Ka, our equilibrium expression. Set up our ice table. We have 0.1 molarity. Our reactant should be going down while product should be going up. Plug it into our equilibrium expression. Ignore x and solve for x. x is still concentration of H. Our concentration of H is 5.92 times 10 to the negative fifth. So our pH is equal to 4.23. Go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own. Here we have formic acid, and so we write our dissociation equation for it. Write the equilibrium expression. Fill in our ice table, we have 0.2 molarity, none and none. Reactant going down, products going up.
you should have plugged in those equilibrium values into the equilibrium expression. Ignore the minus x. And our x is our concentration of H, which is equal to 0 0.006. If you read the problem carefully, it said calculate the concentration of H, and so we are actually done. This problem is a little bit different. They gave you the pH and the concentration of the acid, and they want to know what the Ka of this weak acid is. Anytime you have an acid and you don't know what the acid is, you can say that it's HA, or some weak acid. We know that our acid is going to break apart to give us hydrogen and A, whatever that is. We know that we start with 0.1 molarity. We can write our equilibrium expression. So we need to know everything that goes in that equilibrium expression to find our Ka. In other words, we need to know the equilibrium line. Since they gave us the pH, that's going to help us figure out our H. Using our pH equation, we can solve for concentration of H, if you recall, from 10 to the negative pH. So our concentration of H is 3.98 times 10 to the negative 6. Setting up our ice table, we know that we had 0.100 0, 0, minus X plus X plus X. But we know what our hydrogen ion concentration is, so we know what X is. So we can plug that in now. Since we know what x is, we're not going to ignore the minus x like we've done in previous problems. So we're going to say 0.1 minus 3.98 times 10 to the negative 6 gives me 0 0.099994. Or actually 0 0.099996. So now I have everything in my equilibrium line so I can find my Ka. So if they give you the pH and the original concentration, you can find the Ka of that acid. Plugging it in, I get 1.58 times 10 to the negative 10th, and no units on my Ka value.